Introduction to BJTs. BJTs, or bipolar junction transistors, are three terminal semiconductor devices that can amplify signals or act as switches. They were invented in 1948 at Bell Labs and replaced bulky vacuum tubes, revolutionizing electronics. The impact was profound. Smaller, cheaper, and more efficient devices like radios, televisions, and eventually computers became a reality. This innovation also laid the groundwork for the information technology boom. Real life. Example. Early transistor radios of the 1950s, such as the Regency TR-1, used BJTs to make portable music players feasible. These radios were lighter, more reliable, and far cheaper than their vacuum tube predecessors. Structure and Operation A BJT consists of three regions. Emitter, injects carriers, electrons or holes. Base, thin and lightly doped, it controls the flow of carriers. Collector, collects the carriers from the emitter. Two configurations exist, NPN transistor, Electrons are the majority carriers. PNP transistor, holes are the majority carriers. The three modes of operation are Active mode, used for amplification. Forward biased emitter base and reverse biased collector base. Cutoff mode, both junctions are reverse biased, used in digital off states. Saturation mode, both junctions are forward biased, used in digital on states. Real-life example. In a light switch circuit for LEDs, BJTs can act as switches. In cutoff mode, the transistor is off and the LED remains dark. In saturation mode, the transistor allows current to flow, turning the LED on. Physical behavior and current flow. BJTs are unique because they are bipolar, meaning both electrons and holes contribute to current flow. For example, in an NPN transistor operating in active mode, electrons are injected from the emitter to the base. A small fraction of these electrons recombine in the base, while the majority are collected by the collector. This amplification of current makes BJTs ideal for use in signal amplification. Real-life example. In audio amplifiers, BJTs are used to boost weak microphone signals to levels suitable for driving speakers. High-fidelity amplifiers, such as those in concert sound systems, rely on this precise current control to maintain audio clarity. Applications and importance. BJTs excel in applications that require high-speed switching. They are commonly used in emitter-coupled logic, ECL, circuits for ultra-fast digital operations. High-frequency performance, BJTs are ideal for RF, radio frequency amplifiers, such as those used in cell phone base stations and broadcasting equipment. Analog signal processing, BJTs are widely used in operational amplifiers and sensor circuits due to their ability to handle low noise amplification. Real life example. High speed trading systems in financial markets rely on emitter coupled logic circuits to process data at incredible speeds, enabling algorithms to make split second decisions. Modeling and circuit design. This section introduces simplified equivalent circuit models to analyze BJTs in circuits. These models represent BJTs as voltage-controlled or current-controlled devices, which help predict their behavior in various configurations. Voltage-controlled model. Useful for understanding transistor operation in amplifiers. Current-controlled model. Helps analyze BJTs in switching circuits. The models are key to designing complex circuits such as multi-stage amplifiers or feedback systems. Real life. Example. In hearing aids, BJT models help optimize circuit designs to ensure the device amplifies sound frequencies most relevant to speech while minimizing background noise. Comparisons with MOSFETs. 
Although MOSFETs dominate modern integrated circuits, BJTs still hold their ground in certain areas. BJTs have better high-frequency performance, making them ideal for RF amplifiers. They offer higher current driving capabilities, useful in motor driver circuits. However, MOSFETs are preferred for low-power, high-density applications like microprocessors due to their high input impedance and lower power consumption. Real life example. Hybrid electric vehicles often use Bicky MOS technology, which combines the strengths of BJTs, high current driving, with MOSFETs, low power. This hybrid approach allows precise control of motor drives while maintaining efficiency. Additional insights, the early effect and saturation. The early effect, the collector current slightly increases with collector voltage due to base width modulation. This phenomenon is named after J.M. Early and impacts amplifier design by introducing a small variation in gain. Saturation mode. When the BJT acts as a switch in saturation, its voltage drop between the collector and emitter is minimal, around 0.2V. This makes it efficient for digital applications. Real-life example. In microcontroller circuits, BJTs in saturation mode are used to control small DC motors or relays with minimal power loss. Why BJTs still matter? Despite the dominance of MOSFETs, BJTs are critical for learning electronics. Understanding BJTs lays the groundwork for mastering more complex devices. High performance applications. Their high speed and current capacity make them irreplaceable in specific use cases. Hybrid systems. Combining BJTs with MOSFETs in BICMOS circuits delivers the best of both worlds for modern technology.